Hi, it's Phil from Inclusive Music, teaching the world to make music with BandLab. Are you bored of the same old loops? Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to make fresh beats and bass lines from scratch. Let's go. The only instruments I want to start with are the kick drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat. And the beat I'm going to share with you is a very simple hip-hop classic. It goes like this. Now that might sound difficult to actually do, but once we slow it down and look at what's involved, it becomes a lot easier. For example, all we're gonna do on the hi-hat is go. Dead steady beat. And we've got a little shuffle going on with a snare. So it's gonna go, if I slow it down now, it's gonna go like this. And all we've got to remember is to press the first hi-hat beat with the kick. So they're going to go together. So to record this, what we need to do is to slow the tempo of the BandLab app down considerably. So let's tap on settings. It defaults to 120. I'm gonna put the metronome on here, which will keep us in time. It goes green. Now that's far too fast, especially to record. It's a great idea to record slowly and then speed it up. So I'm going to tap the tempo. I was going So it's come to 85. I'm going to slow it down to 80 beats per minute. I could of course use the plus and the minus to change it to any tempo I wish. Let's move this upwards a little bit and make sure that when we're recording we have a count in. That's the period before the recording starts to help us get into time. So counting is set to off. Let's tap that. And I would suggest two bars, but you could have it on one bar. So that's that sorted. And you can choose the dark theme or the light theme. I'm gonna choose the dark theme for recording. So back to the little waveform here. And that brings us back to the drum screen. So remembering the beat is this. And practice that as much as you want until you feel you've got it almost as muscle memory. Now to help us keep in time, we're gonna press the Q up here. And that's the input quantization is then on. And this will help us with our timing. So even if we're not so accurate, it will now be recorded perfectly in time. You may not want that, because often hip hop beats have that groove, that feel to them, which uh, makes it quite interesting and original. But for now, for a successful recording, I recommend you keep it on. 
Now we can do as many takes as we want. I'm going to rewind here and I'm going to press record and come in whenever I feel like it. stop. Now I recorded nine bars, which means I recorded the beat nine times. So there should be something there that I'll find acceptable. So I'm going to rewind and have a listen. That sounds great. Now, we could have a look at that because it's interesting to see what the beat consists of. So if I go to the little arrow down next to the cue, I can see the actual recording. There it is, 808 Kid. And those were the notes or the beats that I was tapping on. And if I click on it once or tap on it once and then go to edit, there is the actual beat. So here's the kick snare and the hi-hat. So this is a nice graphic score. Let's have a look. Now the beauty of this is we can use other elements of the kit. So, for example, I could add a clap. Um, let's put randomly a clap there. Maybe a cowbell there. And um, an open hi-hat there. So let's have, see how this sounds. And already, you can see we've got a variation on the original beat. So let's go to bar two. Starts there, bar two. Oops. So the next bar will be slightly different. Let's try this from the beginning. Okay, bar three now. How about we have um, some extra hi hats in in between and. Um, how about a kick, an extra kick from the beginning? Okay, bar four. How about um, a double high, a double kick there, and um, a double snare. So that's quite interesting. Let's add a clap there and a clap there from the beginning. Sounds good to me. Um, let's have a, uh, a symbol. And there's a Tom Toms here. How about we go a run down from there? From the beginning. Okay. Have another one. In fact, I think if I want to take something out, I just tap it again. I didn't like the the symbol there, but I think on the end of that little run of tom toms would be quite nice. Um, so let's see what we could add here at the beginning. 
some off beats, and that's not at the beginning, but every other one. This could be quite interesting. But this is random. I'm experimenting here. I don't really know quite what will happen. So let's just continue. Bar six I recorded. So let's have a, a cowbell. Um, extra hi-hat there. Open hi-hat there. So again, a little bit fancy, a little bit clever now. Remembering that we can always take any beat or any instrument that we put in. even do it quite randomly. Who knows what will sound good and what won't. Okay, from the beginning. Sounds good. So now I'm now gonna press done. And you can see I've now got eight bars of music from bar one to bar nine. And to save it, I'm gonna press this little arrow upwards here. Save. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it hip. Hop, drum, hope if I could spell, drum, beat, and I'm going to put variations. And that's going to tell me when I look back on it that I didn't just do one drum beat. I had some variations on the original beat. I'm not gonna bother with the description at the moment, I'm just gonna make sure it's saved. There it is, revision saved. That's the drum beat done. And we can apply the same idea with an instrument. So for example, let's go to the plus and add another track. MIDI instrument. Let's suppose I want a keyboard. Tap on keyboard. Um, Let's have a listen to an electric piano. That sounds quite nice. So by tapping it, I'm downloading it to my mobile. It's ticked now. It means that's already in the phone. And up comes my keyboard. If I press the little squares here, I can change it to a grid, which personally I prefer because the keyboard is a little bit daunting to me, not being a trained musician. You can also see some notes are grayed out and some notes are in white. And in this case, it's the white notes we're gonna follow because it's in the key of C. So what I like to do when I'm using a grid is find patterns. So I might just go up from the C. And then down. I could try this. Those are the white notes which I want to use. I quite liked the ones on this side. So once again, make sure quantize is on so I'm in time with the music. There it is. The metronome's on, but I'm not so worried about the metronome now because in the background I have the beat. So in fact, I might take the metronome off. Here's the beat. 
So I'm gonna press record, and then I'm just gonna go up and down on the white notes. C, E, F, A, C, E, F, A. Here we go. So if I rewind and play. go to the little arrow down next to the quantize, I can see track two, and you can see the notes going up and down. And I didn't come in right at the beginning. So I can tap it and move it if I want to the beginning. What we did when we recorded the drums was edit it. I can do the same with the keyboard. So tap it once and go to edit. And now we can see all the notes. Let's rewind. And I played a very simple tune, probably not very hip hop at all, but I'm trying to show you the process of recording. So if I avoid the notes with the sharps on, that's the little icon here, the hashtag if you like, uh, I could move these notes around. And once again, I can randomly put in notes. Have a G there. And a B there. Let's see what this sounds like. Let's have a D. Let's take that one out. By just tapping it again, it removes it. Let's have a G. Let's have a, another G. So they're playing together. So we have a little bit of a chord there. Two notes can play together. Um, we had a B there. Let's have a B there. Let's rewind. But the idea was once again to experiment with the process of finding notes and seeing if you can come up with an interesting bass line or piano part or a melody. A good idea is to loop a section. Up here at the top, if I tap it, it goes orange. And that shows us it will loop around or it will cycle. <laughs> That's probably the best way to work on a part because it goes over and over again. So I'm going to go back in here, edit, and have a listen. Okay, so the bit I don't really like is the second half of it. Sounds a bit like a nursery rhyme. So I've taken those out. If we want to solo or mute any of these parts, there's a little icon here, it's a little line just below the plus, which I can pull that out and I'm gonna mute that electric piano because I'm not so keen on that. I'm quite happy with the beat. And maybe I press now the plus icon and find a bass. So let's move this across, orchestral, basses, voices, let's have a bass. To audition the bass, we just press the play button. And a double bass. How about trying that? So tap it once, it's loading up. It downloads extremely quickly. And then in comes the double bass. And we could play it on the keyboard. Or we 
you could try the square grid. <laughs> So I like those t three notes, F, A, E, F. Nice and simple, a little bit sinister. Let's uh, record that. Rewind, press record. And that's looping around the cycle because I've left that on. So perhaps I should just double tap that and it's gone. And if I want to undo the recording, I press undo. That's this button here. And if I liked it, I could press redo. So it's still there, undo again. Okay, it's gone now. So cycle off and let's have another go. This time I didn't have the quantize on and you'll see I think at about bar seven I was a little bit out and you'll hear that but we can still edit it so let's go back to the track let's slide this across and there is the recorded bass track let's have a listen <laughs> to bar seven it is slightly out but let's have a look in detail i'm going to tap that and go into edit and what i'm aiming to do is get the note on the bar line and this is bar six so i'm slightly out there but that's the what we call the human feel so all these are a little bit out but they didn't sound too bad so if i look at bar seven You can see that's considerably out. And if I wanted to move it, I just tap it. Oops. Tap it, deletes it, and then I can put it back in. So tap it, delete it. And you can see the little white line there, which means I can extend it. So now I'm in perfect time, if I want to be. save arrow save and notice it says publish if I wanted to publish it I could publish it to Bandab and ask people to join me I can fork it which means that anybody who comes across my track can actually add another instrument their vocals another drum part another bass line and you can start co-creating with 9 million users around the world I hope you found some value in this video, and if you have, please like and subscribe, don't forgetting to hit the bell. I have a question for you. Which do you prefer, the keyboard or the grid when you're inputting your own notes? Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, keep making music.